Hello, this is James from Canonical. Today we are talking about The Passport by Herta Mueller. So Mueller wrote an essay in 2003. Um, oh, God, I promise I practiced this. Um, Der König, Der König, Wernick, Untotet. Language lessons with Sam. Just translate yeah. it to, to English. Yeah. So she wrote an essay in 2003 called, in English, The King Bows and Kills. It hasn't been translated into English, so my understanding of it is largely based on others' accounts. But in it, she makes a distinction between the smaller village Heimat, or Dorf Heimat, and the broader nation-state Heimat, Staatsheimat. She says, village home as Germanism and state home as uncritical obedience and blind fear of repression as part of that distinction. That essay criticizes both, however, with the German village's 300-year-old patriotism based on the ethnocentric patriarchal myth of superiority, as well as the nationalist patronizing politics of this era that kept Romania trapped in this victim victimizer mindset of cruelty, corruption, and hypocrisy. Since it's a German, we haven't read this essay, but I don't think we need to in order to see Mueller's feelings on this subject. Do we see evidence of that stance in the passport? I think what we see that's interesting to me is how these two different understandings of home work well when they are laid on top of each other. When you have the village home and the nation home, they don't conflict with each other. But when the nation home is a foreign country, Romania, then you might tend to lean in more heavily onto the village home. You lean into the Germanness because it becomes in opposition to the nation home, which demands a different type of obedience that you might not be willing to comply with. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure I agree. Uh, I I agree in theory. In theory, I don't best know... kind of agreement. <laughs> um, I I don't think you're wrong, but I don't know that that's exactly the problem that we see here. Uh, I think they are rubbing against each other, um, but I don't know if Romania specifically is the problem. I think Romania, this Romania, Ceausescu, is the problem. These were problems that were present in Germany as well. So to clarify, when she's using Staatsheimat, is she talking about just the German state? Or is she also talking about the Romanian state? Or is she only talking about the Romanian state? Because it sounds to me like from what Yed is saying is that Yed's understanding it as the German state and the German village. No, I think she is talking about Romania. I think he's right that there is this this rubbing up against uh, German ideals from the village standpoint and the Romanian state. But the way you phrased it, yeah, it, I took your meaning to be like Romanian ideals. And I don't think these are Romanian ideals. I think my understanding of Heimat is it's not something that exists specifically for Germans to Germany, but the relationship of any person to his home country. And right. what makes it difficult in this novel is they have a German village, but their country is not a German country. And that disconnect between village and country pushes them closer, I would say, to the Germanness of their village because it's in conflict with the Romanianness of their country. Whereas if you are in Germany itself, you don't seek out to amplify your Germanness because there's nothing for that Germanness to stand in relief to. Okay. Um, yeah, I think you're right. But that seems to that seems to suggest that 
the uh, village home is somehow better. Whereas I think she's saying, no, they're both bad. I think it encourages a kind of conservatism that she would probably be opposed to. And I think living, we can't call it exile, but living abroad, it encourages a kind of groupthink that I think she would also be opposed to. I even feel this myself as an American living in China. I have more nostalgia for America now than I ever did in America. And if you asked me to critically analyze American politics, I would say I may be in one way less equipped to do so now because I am longing for my country more than I was before. Can we point to specifics in the text where uh, either they butt up against each other or, or where we can see her stance are on one or the other or both simultaneously? Or is it more of a generalized feeling? I think it's pretty clear that she, in the book, is criticizing the patriarchy that exists. Right? And you get that with, for example, in the scene where, well, multiple scenes where Windish calls his wife a whore, or hints that she's a whore. Mm. I think the reader is meant to feel sympathy for the wife. And that seems to be a parallel to the, the way he treats his wife, that kind of power dynamic. You might see it reflected in other py- power dynamics in the story, like the way the state might treat the individual, for example. I think what she offers us is the opportunity to see a situation where there is no escape. Being German is not an escape from patriarchy. Being German is not an escape from a bad family situation. So it's not a specific point in the text, but rather it's the entire structure of the novel where you have this group of people longing for something else that they think may solve their problems, but it encourages a kind of uh, dramatic irony where I, as a reader, know it's not going to solve their real problems. So does that mean yet that, in your mind, when they go to Germany, it's not going to solve any issues? This is something we'll talk about more in the next episode, but I have the impression that no. I think that Mueller is pointing to more deep-seated issues that cannot be resolved with immigration.